All right, so if you don't know, I absolutely love the movie Eight Mile. It's, it's one of my just most enjoyable films of all time. Maybe one of my favorites. And will this hold up in comparison to it? Director F. Gary Gray's Straight Outta Compton is about the NWA group in about night in like the early '80s, late '90s. And the basic story is that it tells the rise, fall, trials, and tribulations split up of the NWA group, who consists of Easy E, Ice Cube, D- Dr. Dre, MC Ren, and DJ Yella. Now, I was very much looking forward to this movie. I first I saw the great reviews that they started started getting, as well as just the trailers, really made me excited. And also, I love rap. I love rap. I love. I love 8 Mile, and this gave me a real 8 Mile feel because it's also a rap biopic. And what I think of this movie, while it's not as good as 8 Mile in any way, in my opinion, I certainly still did really enjoy this movie. First of all, let's get into the negatives. The negatives is that, first of all, the pacing is god-awful. I mean, it's two and a half hours, and it feels very, very long. There There were scenes where I was almost dozing off during this movie, and I was just getting really tired. And that's not good. I mean, it's kind of like the first two acts of the movie were done really well. And the second half was more or less just like took a tone that just, it took a very strange tonal shift that wasn't subtle whatsoever. And in my opinion, just didn't really work. I mean, yes, it was emotional towards the end. But at the same time, I just didn't really feel like it was like as fun and as entertaining as the first two acts. And speaking of that, let's veer into the good things. Now, first of all, the acting by everyone is great. They couldn't have picked any better cast members for this. O'Shea Jackson Jr. plays Ice Cube in the movie, and that's Ice Cube's son in real life. And he does a great job, I mean, probably because Ice Cube's his father, and that he does a really good job. Dr. Dre in this movie, I loved him. I thought he was one of the best characters in the movie. He's a very likable guy, and I was very encouraged his character, as well as all of these people. Uh, Easy E, he probably had the whoever played Easy E. I'm not sure who played him. Let me check. Jason Mitchell, and he had a very tough time because he couldn't get any props from like Easy E because he died of AIDS. And overall, I think that if Easy E was around today, he would be very satisfied with what Jason Mitchell did train him so I really thought that, that was good uh, the score for the movie is also really well done and WA music is awesome I mean my favorite scene in the movie was when they made the song no they performed the song F the police I mean I'm not gonna say the F word because you know stick to less swearing on this channel yeah because we're a clean channel woo alright so anyways that when they started singing that I was like yeah, I was like getting into it. I was like, yes, that is so true. And if there was a police guy standing out of my theater, there wasn't. But if there was, I would have been like, you're a, you, God, uh, you are such a bad person. Like all the way through to your core. All right, guys. So what else is good about this movie? Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti is absolutely amazing. I don't even know what I'm doing. But Paul Giamatti does a great performance once again in a movie this year. If Love and Mercy wasn't good enough for you, this won't be better, but, you know, you might get more enjoyment out of it because his character is certainly more enjoyable. Not that he's, like, a a great guy, but he's certainly much more enjoyable of a character than what he played in Love and Mercy. But, again, he gives a great performance in this movie. Uh, The direction is pretty solid. The writing in here is also pretty solid. There are a couple of scenes... I got er, the last third has a very strange and very non unsubtle tonal shift, but besides that, when um, Easy E dies, it really does impact you. You're just like, oh my gosh, and you, I almost cried in this movie. I didn't, but I was very close to it. So that's saying something. I mean, I know I st- apparently I cry at everything, but overall, it was just a pretty sad experience. So, in the end, Straight Outta Compton is a pretty big letdown. I mean, it's not like it's terrible. I mean, you just heard me, like, raving about it. But I certainly don't think it lived up to the expectation that I set for it. I thought this was going to be, like, the better than 8 Mile. 
Anthony Miles, like one probably one of my all time favorites. And yeah, it's nowhere near that whatsoever. So I did enjoy this movie. So overall, I'm gonna give Straight Outta Compton a three and a half out of five stars. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. If you feel like it, if you're up for a two and a half hour biopic, or you could just rent Eight Mile, which is a better movie in my opinion. So yeah, that's my review for Straight Outta Compton. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below what you thought of the review, as well as if you saw the movie, what you thought of the movie. If you didn't see the movie, are you going to? Whatever you think, whatever you want to comment, comment below. And, um, yeah, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and until my next review, I'm Randy Mr. 401. I will see you all later.